stress has become the new normal. Whenever you ask anybody, how are you? So frequently we hear, oh my God, I'm so stressed. Yeah, me too. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. But we need to relieve that stress because while it may be common, it's not normal and it's not healthy. So how do we relieve it? Well, prevention is the best medicine. So the best way to relieve stress is actually to prevent it in the first place. And the best way to prevent stress is to have a routine that keeps your mind and your body and your breath in balance, anchored, grounded, and in alignment. Make sure you're meditating every day. Make sure you are doing deep breathing because that breath is the most powerful connector to calmness, to peace, to stillness, to what we call the parasympathetic response of the nervous system. Stress is the sympathetic nervous system response. Fight, flee, or freeze. The parasympathetic response is essentially that ah, exhalation. So anchoring in the breath and staying anchored in the breath is a great prevention. Another great prevention, make sure you are getting enough sleep and enough food and enough water. As simple as they sound, lack of sleep, hunger, dehydration are some of the things that create the most stress in our mind. We think we're really upset about something but actually it just turns out that our blood sugar is really low. We think we're really angry about something. Turns out we're actually dehydrated. We think that we are overwhelmed and burnt out. And actually, we're just exhausted. So make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure you're getting enough food. They call that hangry, meaning angry from being hungry. So make sure you're not hangry and make sure you're hydrated. And lastly, and on the deepest level, stress is ultimately caused because I have an expectation of how things should be. And when the universe does not live up to my expectations, I get stressed. And I get stressed in advance, worried that maybe the universe is not gonna live up to my expectations. So the best prevention, lower your expectations. Let them go. Say, not my will be done, but thy will. It doesn't mean become complacent. It doesn't mean we give up. It means we recognize that my attachment to this expectation is actually stealing my peace. And so we ask ourselves, is it worth it? Is how someone else thinks, speaks, behaves, lives, is that really worth my peace, my joy, my freedom? Because every time we get stressed and upset about someone else's actions, someone else's choices, someone else's words, we are literally giving up our freedom, our peace, our joy, just because of how someone else is. So really ask yourself, is it worth it? And I think you'll find it's not. So the great prevention is to not have those expectations, to simply recognize everyone on earth is in the midst of their own karmic journey. I'm responsible only for mine. And then when you find yourself stressed, what to do? Number one, breathe deeply. Anchor in the breath. It will ground you, it will calm you. It will bring in that parasympathetic response immediately. Number two, take a walk. A slow, beautiful, meditative walk. Number three, exercise. The opposite of the slow, meditative walk but do some vigorous exercise. Get your blood pumping, sweat, 
get that energy in the system, get it out. Number four, do something creative, art, music. Channel that energy into something that will actually create. And slowly, slowly with these practices, you'll find that when someone says to you, how are you? You're able to say, excellent, wonderful, beautiful, fantastic, not, oh my God, I'm so stressed. <laughs>